Hey guys, I've had this Klam manual pick gun for quite a few years now. Um, I'm going to open it up today for anyone that wants to see what makes these things tick, how they work and how to, how to use them. Um, so let's get it open. Alright, so there's, there's the back of it. Um, it's obviously held closed by five screws all around the edge of it and it's been sprayed with clear lacquer over the to give it a, a rust proof coating of some sort so it may be stuck together let's have a look Okay, let's split the two halves open and there's the inside of the cover. Okay, so there's the inside, very basic. Here's your tension adjuster. Um, all that's doing is Pushing, it's pushing that there and just adjusting the travel um, just a spring on the trigger I'll hold on to that because the trigger will all spring out otherwise you see where the back of it's going to hit this tab make sure you can see So that's it, it just travels over there and returns back. Very, very basic. Let's put it back together because there's nothing else to do with the thing really. Okay, the pick itself, um, obviously they're interchangeable, put whatever pick on you like, uh, I buy them by the bag, cheaper that way, get a bag full of them. You can get picks for dimple locks too, and I, when I'm dealing with um, ordinary pin tumblers, I, I tend to prefer the straight ones, but it's good to play with all different types and find out what's best for you. Right, so it's back together, so let's stick it in a lock and see how we get on. I got this fairly new defined deadbolt lock. I figured we'd give it a try with that. It's um, it has pick resistant pins. Now, when you're using a pick gun, if you've got security pins, it tends to make it a bit more difficult. But let's have a go. Okay, it's a five pin, and there's the bitting on the key there. Alright, let's put our tension bar in. And, like the electric pick gun, of course, the, the key is keeping the pick itself straight so it's not touching the sides, you don't want it twisted, you don't want it up or down you want to keep it as straight as possible on 
that'll increase your chances. Right, let's give her a few pops. There we go. Let's try it again. Make sure it's not a fluke. Of course it isn't, but some people might think it is. So let's have another go. And getting your tension adjusted correctly is uh, pretty important too. But it's just going to be trial and error. These pick guns are really cheap. They're not very expensive. They're worth getting just to, just to play with. There you go, one click. Let's try another dead bolt. Okay, it's working good. Let's see how we get on with this one. I push it in. I, I like to go to the right to the back and then bring it back out a little. There we go. Let's lock it up, try it again. Here we go, one more try. There we go. You'll get it pretty much straight off if if you're operating it correctly. <laughs> but there are a lot a lot of locks that these things just won't work in there, you know. You've got really good security pins. And this is if you can see there, but it's it's not exactly straight. I've, I really should straighten this bar out, but you just gotta, as long as your pick is in there straight, all the way back, back it off, and if you're doing your part right, it should work. There we go. Catch you later, guys.